how am I planning to create 100,000 millionaires? Well, there's a lot that goes into it. When I first made that goal, I thought about, wow, what the hell am I thinking? Because I started doing the numbers. 100,000 times a million came out to 100 billion. I thought to myself, oh my God, it's a lot of money. But then I looked at it. I saw that Amazon over the past five, six years, or what have you, had, I may be getting the numbers off somewhat, but it's close enough to where it's by and large true. But 500, 600 billion in the past five to 10 years? If they could do that, I mean, come on. Why can't we do this? That's number one. Number two, the number one driver behind the wealth gap is the fact that people of color don't, there's not a culture of uh, ownership. In fact, that's the, that's the main driver behind it why black wealth is projected to drop to zero by 2053. Why? Black families on average have 5% of the wealth of white, well, of white families. And here's another stat to keep in mind. 90% of millionaires are made from owning real estate. So once you look at that disconnect, the main thing is to get people started with owning property. That's number one. So what I do with that is uh, two things. I just create and generate awareness as much as I can every single day. We do it with Bold TV. We talk about ways that not just with real estate, but you can start a business. You can hear from people who are actually doing it, making it relatable. Then I put out stuff on Instagram every single day. Then I created, I actually built a portfolio by my, pretty much by myself. It was just our team, self-funded, went out and, and built it and then allowed people to own a piece of that. So what we want to do is we've since launched an app where you can actually download it and you can own a piece of $500 million worth of real estate, you know? for $100. And what that does is, I don't suggest that with $100, that's going to turn into a million. But what it will do is, and this is what people will realize, is almost like a, uh, money is almost like a virus that wants to find a habitat where it can mutate. Money likes to stay away from habitats where it cannot, where it cannot thrive, where it will die. It will stay away from, that's just how it operates. So when people start becoming business owners or investors or both, you start thinking about money differently. You start, instead of thinking, oh, I got my tax returns, how can I deplete these funds to zero and go back to living month to month. Sadly, that's how most people operate. Instead, you start thinking about, hmm, okay, let me take aside 500 and go out for dinner and let me invest the rest so I can grow it to 10,000, then 25 to 100. And by making this bold goal over a period of, no pun intended, 10 years, think about this. If you save up and you invest and you buy a property with three and a half percent down and you start investing, let's say 20% of your salary every single month, over a 10 year period, becoming a millionaire isn't a probability, it's not even a likelihood, it becomes an inevitability. So that is how I plan to do it. Number one, giving people access. Number two, raising awareness. And number three, just have a community where it's okay to normal, where it's normalized talking about these things, where it's okay to do these things and to help push people in that direction. So it's just part of an everyday lifestyle, creating 100,000 millionaires. But it's not just gonna come from $100 investment. It's just like being healthy. It's the application of repetition and discipline and doing it over and over and over. Before you know it you have you can have a uh, million dollars it happens much faster than you think once you really get started